Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, okay. We're live again. Nah, nah, nah. On yet another Friday night here is on Grown Man Record Night. Is that night. Farrah Fawcett? It's somebody. I think that's Farrah Fawcett. It's somebody or other. I had a crush on her in 1978. 78. I think so. I was one. Uh, I had a crush. I, 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 had, her, I, I had the have po crush I had people. the poster. There's a poster of her in her one-piece bikini. I had the poster. The the poster. The poster. It's, yeah. It's the. It's where supermodels really kicked off right there. Is that brown bikini? It's a reddish orange bikini. Rust color. Rust, Rust color. color. Yeah. Exactly. Well, not unlike torrent. Yes, sir. Rust yes, color sir. torrent. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us here on Grown Man Record Night. <coughs> My goodness. That's what grown men do. Uh, well, we're having a big old time this evening. <laughs> we're having a big old time. We got some folks over here in the studio. We're having a, uh, some, some fellowship. We're hanging out That's what and they doing call big it. things. That's what they call it. Playing some record albums, which we like to do every Friday night Lots here live on Lots of great stream. records. We play some great records tonight. Uh, yeah, we have. If you're watching just the show, you've Man. missed some really good stuff. Be sure to check us out live when you can. I mean, uh, I know you're busy. You're busy. It's Friday night. We're not here to waste your time. You got to go to the store. But maybe you're having a little dinner party at your house and you want some smooth jams to kind of lay underneath. Oh, what are you talking about? Ustream.tv slash channel slash uh, Machete Miller. Uh, we'll stream these tunes every Friday night live right up in your uh, old biscuit whistle. You know what I'm saying? We don't mess around when it comes ben to... Daniel, <laughs> ben Daniel says audio hum. Audio hum? Audio hum. What ben does that Daniel mean? Said Audio hum. Audio hum. Check all levels. <laughs> Check all levels. Somebody audio said they hum. had the poster too. Who's the audio hum, by the way, Ben Daniels? Yeah, he's humming. He don't know nobody. He's making it up. We actually do have a grounding problem. Too. You know, Tolly Tommy Carr likes a, likes a good hummer. Okay. We're starting it all over. He does. All right. I've, hey. got, I've got him on tape saying that. Okay. So, uh, like I said, be sure to join us live when you can. We'll fuel your party. We'll fuel your party and let us just, let us be a part of your weekend. It's only it's only proper of you. Let us uh, let us let us get in there. You know what I'm saying? Talk, talk to Ben. Let us get in there. Let us get in there. It's funny um, what the problem. We want to also mention that these that these talk show segments end up on our YouTube channel. Now we got a little something special going on our YouTube channel. And you can catch us there at YouTube.com. The YouTube slash channel is very Miller. very interesting. Um, That's where we, I get, we get a lot of great comments from. Absolutely, everybody uh, watches the videos there and has a good time. We appreciate everybody that checks us out every week, man, because. Not everybody's putting shit up every week. We, we're steady strong, man. We're putting yeah. it up every week. We got a new show. We got new things to talk about. Just like Mr. Rogers, when he'd come in and change his sweater and shit, he had new things to talk about and share, and he always did. Every week he had new shit. And you know, we got new shit. I will say one thing. Most shows that I know, right? they do 22 weeks or so. Sure. And then they stop. They, they stop it down, and then they do another another half season. That's their, right. that's their season. This show is like every week. Every week we every got something. Week. We've missed a week or two because of a storm or maybe a vacation or whatever, but... Force majeure. It's pretty solid. For our Canadian friends. Force majeure. I, mean, I, I, I sat in when you... You, you took a vacation, I sat in, and right. I, I did half the show with no audio, apparently. No, it wasn't half the show. It was half the show. Oh, no, it was just when you would put up a couple of graphics. Ah, I don't know. A few times I had to film No, 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 no. I didn't have the mic on. Uh, after the break, this show you. this show used to do a break. Now we go straight through, which is a good idea. Sure. You shouldn't take a break because you come no back and no, things aren't good. Well, it's no, all right. about format and flow. In, That's in what a it's program about. Program of this caliber and uh, reachability. Yeah, you got to be approachable. You got to be. It's, it's reach and frequency is what it is. That's what it is. Have you ever felt seven a... seven seven? Right. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. talking seven seven. Speaking seven, seven, of the YouTube seven, seven. channel, the big idea of the show and the YouTube seven. graphics, we got us a damn <laughs> YouTube contest going on right now. We're starting to see some sub, uh, submissions come in. We have. Um, we need to see more. Some good stuff, but we want to see more. So, like I said, you, if you've not subscribed, go to youtube.com slash Machete Miller, watch the contest video. Uh, but for real, um, we're, we're going to give away some really cool shit. You need to get on board and make a video about what keeps your party moving. And there's a video on there that talks all about it. But uh, I think uh, we originally said you've got We shot that outside the studio. Yeah, absolutely. Outside the silo. We've got till Friday, June 13th. 13th. Friday the 13th, so get your get Friday, your shit in gear. June 13th, that's and just around the corner. It's coming up. Two so weeks away? Yeah, if you need more time, let us know. Come we'll on. extend it, but you know. But, but come on now. But get it in gear. Get it in gear. We also want to mention, hit us up on Facebook if you've not Do so it. far. Uh, appreciate Sean hooking us up with his graphic. His little Facebook uh, 
It's facebook.com slash grown man record night. It's real easy to remember. So get up there and like us. Like us. And during the week, I'll post some interesting baloney now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's some baloney, all right. I'll post some baloney here and there. Hither and yon, as they say. But uh, be sure to be friends with us all across the internet. We want to hold your hand throughout your E experience, your E slash experience. E forward slash experience. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what. Let's get into a little bit of what we played. I'm in the wrong graphic. <laughs> a little bit of what we played. What we played. There's our good buddy uh, Beaver and our good buddy Gilbert, and we're going to talk about what we played this evening. It's important to know what we played. played. a nice Because you might have heard something you really like. You want to know what we, the hell we played. That's true, and you may want to go download it on iTunes or check out the record or, um, or, uh, or die in <laughs> a painful death of... Allergies. Uh, Call AIDS the fi- and allergies and call whatever's the, going on. Call the fire department. Somebody make a quilt. Let's just all get together and make a quilt right Airbrush now. Airbrush shirts. Does Airbrush this, shirts and quilt. Is this a love quilt? We're starting the whole show over. Wait, you want to go to Angelo? Hold no. on, we're not there. We're not there. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go through what we played this evening. And we, played yes. a, we played a nice... I was actually here for the start of your show. You came pretty early this evening. I, I don't normally do that. We're going to... Um, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty eclectic eclectic yeah. mix. Yeah. Of, and that's um, what this show's all about. Of course. Of course. So let, off the top. It's like we're playing it we're it's like we're doing the show in a nightclub. Willie really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to that though. Like no one paying attention to your to your act. Sure. Sure. Of we've course. all we've all been there, right? Me too. That's the story of my entire life. I've been doing shtick since I was shot out. And sometimes people pay attention and sometimes they don't. But it's uh twenty four seven shtick. We're getting the band back together. Yeah, you're getting a band back together? It's possibly. It's Tell po- me about it. it well, we're, 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 we met, we, we got together and, and played a little. It's been over a year. And it, it's funny how, how quickly things come back together and we know exactly what we need. So it's like, it's not, it's not everybody. So but this is Ledneck. This is a Led Zeppelin tribute band. Yeah. Here out of well, Central North So we're, we're, on the, we're on the search for a drummer that, okay. that will fit our needs. Okay. I'm uh, sure you'll find a, pretty, a lot of good it's drummers. A pretty potent, it's a pretty potent group. You can search... Uh, Ledneck at Lincoln Theater is a good one, I think, to see I, what I the hell we're up, talking there's, about. There's some, YouTube there's, clips there's some out decent there. stuff out there. You know, it's you know, it's club scene kind of yeah. crap, but it's uh, some good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, let me it's good. Billy playing a better than Ezra cover band. If you're looking for a drummer, <laughs> that was Jay, by the way. Jay's pipe Jay band. is in a better he, than Ezra cover band. We're starting now. We're I, I know we're starting the whole show over now. Oh, better than Evan. How many albums do they do? I don't know. Too many. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about what we played. Shout out to my man Chris down at Dixieland Farm, man, uh, from the Provocative Percussion Series on Command Records. It's uh, Enoch Light and the uh, Light Brigade. Uh, I love with anything Command puts out. I, I, Command I love Records, the hell man. out of it. And anything Enoch Light has put out, I what pretty much love the hell out what of it. What a label. A great, great, great label for, for some really good lounge music and good big band sound. Picked this up last week, I think it was. It's uh, Grace Jones' first album, man. Yep. She's, uh, she's doing some uh, interesting. I like the picture on the back very much. So I don't was, know. I don't know why. It had a little bit of scribble scratch. A little to tongue it. action there. It's a pretty interesting. She's a album. crazy girl. It's, it's nuts. I think I probably know her originally from uh, the, Co- the Conan movie. Well, yeah. the Conan. Yeah, she was. In the Conan I mean, as a kid, I was a kid when that came out, so I didn't know nothing about nobody. You weren't always an adult. No, sir. I, well, sort of. I think it might still be a kid, actually. hey But when I was a kid, they thought I was a little adult. It's funny. When I was a kid, they thought I was an adult. And now that you're an adult, we think you're a kid. Isn't that, like isn't that interesting? Jerry Coleman. This is like... Um, uh, Being big, Benjamin Buggy. Big. Big. Tom Hanks. Yeah. I wish I were big. Zoltar? Anybody got a Zoltar machine? I'm desperately in need of a Zoltar machine. Um, hey, how about a little bit? Hell? Is this the Mayo Clinic? You brought some business in here, uh, straight up the boss man. Well, you know, hour. I brought this. I brought this for boss man, and I don't. Do we need to talk about the breaking news, the boss man news? <laughs> boss man's changing his name. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Pump that up. Maybe we should ask the VC or the the community of viewers what they think about the boss man changing his name to. I, I'll let him say it. I'm not going to say it. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I know he's a big fan of Jimmy Castor. So I brought along uh, Super Sound, and oh, this yeah. this is a 
funky ass album. There's only three songs on the side we heard, but it's so so good. Dude, I just had this. I song. forgot how good this was because I was worried. Oh, he's got this polyester suit. It might be kind of disco. No, he's still bringing yeah. it hard. I yeah, actually, I had that record at a local shop. Had it in my hand, and it was in my stack to buy five bucks. I'm like, all day long, five bucks. Yeah. And but uh, it was one of the times I've gotten a little more discerning about what I'm picking up. So they got a table set up, you know. And so I'm like, I'm gonna take my little stack over, and I'm gonna go listen to all my records, make sure I'm not buying a limit. Oh, you gotta do that. And so I go over and I'm checking them out, and um, that Jimmy Castro's got a big <whistles> scratch right uh, through the one side. Yeah, it was terrible. Yeah. Awful. This and is I'm like, this man. is 1975 on uh, Atlantic. Man, jamming yep. record, man. That's a. Uh, I've not seen good. anything that disappoints from Jimmy Castor. Not, and you know our buddy Sean, who does a lot of your graphics, he interviewed, yeah. he interviewed Jimmy yeah, there's Castor. there's an interview out there. We need to pump that one. Up. I mean, I mean Supernova's a, I mean, I mean, Bossman's a big, big fan of Jimmy Castor. Yeah, it freaks him out, man. It's like blue number two, blue oh, number oh, one. Yeah, the blue dyes give me a seizure. But one thing that gives me seizure all day is birth of big buck. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Bum, 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 killer. That is like an insane, So what do you think of this new Jimmy Caster? It was later. It's not earlier. It's later. It has a different... Troglodyte is earlier. Yeah. Got that Birth of Butt. And then there's this, which is still pretty solid. Yeah, man. It's got that King Kong song on there. He does a kind of a lot of... Um, storytelling. Yeah, he likes to tell stories. I call it cartoon funk. That's I great. Because not only are the covers cartoony and shit, but also it reminds me of like late seventies, early eighties. It puts 80s, you in that that day when Saturday you're, morning cartoon. You get up and watch Hong Kong Fooey and and Speed Buggy, you know. But not just the actual <laughs> cartoons, but even the commercials. You know what I mean? That yeah. Whole oh sure, sure. That whole that time had that feel. Yeah. That's kind of what I lump that into. Okay. Hey, speaking of lumping a feel, oh. hey yo. Well, Toto, I, this song, this is a, uh, this is something that's been in my head all week long, and I've been singing it because I heard it in the background of a show or some shit, and then I decided, I got, I got to play this. I, I think I got that record, and so I dug around. I'm like, son of a bitch, I do have that record. Oh, it's getting played. Toto, four, and I played Africa. Africa. Uh, it's been in my head all week. Mm -hmm. It's a little mm -hmm. kitschy, but uh, mm -hmm. what a great song. Oh, that's a great song. Though. It's a great song. It, 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 it hooks you, you know. Yeah, if you don't... Toto 4 it was a big, big album for them. They ha It has 99 on it. It's got uh, Africa. <laughs> it's got that other song on it, too. Um, uh, uh, Rosanna. Yeah. Those are big, big hits for Toto. Sure. Toto's a great band. They're studio, studio musicians. And I think they had something to do with some of the some of the extra playing on the wall. Now, oh, okay. don't get me wrong; I might be wrong on this, but I think you could as be studio wrong. musicians, they may have they may have uh, contributed some album, some legendary album. Hmm. Okay. I'm just saying. All right. We'll keep it moving. Okay. That's pretty neat, though. I, I just kind of felt like, oh well, well, yeah, what are you gonna do? It gets, a song gets you in your head. You gotta put it on the old turn T. You know what I mean? Hey. Uh, we lost an American poet this week. We did. Um, a local. A local American poet. Maya Angelou passed away this Maya week. Maya Angelou. Passed away this week. And uh, I was thinking of something appropriate to play for that you particular got a occasion. I got a little something. I sent you a little something. Okay. A friend of mine posted cut, this on cut Facebook. The rug. She loved getting down. And here she is getting down with Whitman Mayo. Oh, Grady now. Grady from Sanford and Son. This That's is a great I, pick, I'm, Steve. I'm going to guess, though. I think this picture was taken at the Black Theater Festival, which happens in Winston-Salem, North That's Carolina, right. every year. Uh, a lot of great artists come, and, and they, do, they, do, uh, they do plays. And uh, Maya lives, lived in Winston-Salem. No. Uh, and uh, there she is, this cut in the rug with Whitman Mayo. Uh, which I just love that picture. That's a really cool picture. And so I played this record. I did get to uh, interview her a couple of yeah, times. Yeah, I've worked on some stuff that she's yeah, been a part yeah. of she, here and there. She honestly, guys, she lived about three blocks from where we work. Yeah. It was, a, it was a, you could walk to her house, honestly. So. Yeah, and so I played this record um, because I was trying to think of something that Oh, kind yeah. of captured, uh, yeah. captured a little bit Independence. of her essence. Yeah, I think that would be a good record to play. Miles Davis. Water I don't know. Babies. Maybe she hated Miles Davis, but uh, I, th I think she would love Miles Davis. Of course, and I, she, I mean, I just think she would. Yeah. Naked black people in the front of it. Yeah. 
either way, you get a kick out of it. Okay. Musically. Sure. Visually. Yeah. Um, and uh, or just, you know, trying to be fresh. Do you know why Wayne Coyne of the Flaming Lips? Wayne Coyne of the Flaming Lips, you know why he wears those suits all the time? Because he, he can't stay fresh. No, it's because he saw a picture of Miles Davis after he'd been bloodied in the in an alleyway by a by a cop or something. Yeah. He he went out between gigs, between between sets on a gig, into an alley and they got roughed up by a by a cop, by a white racist cop. And so wow. he comes back in the club and he's got his suit on still and he's up and he's, in the club. And he's got blood on his suit. And Wayne Coyne saw this picture of him and just thought it was the coolest thing to have that cool, dirty but raw look in a really nice white suit. So when you see Wayne Coyne, he's always wearing really nice suits. I just that's an interesting story. Oh yeah, I'm gonna quit with the interesting. No, no, stories. no. What? But that that's uh. So, so you base your whole career's wardrobe off of that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, off the picture that you saw of of uh, Miles Davis. Well, you know. Everybody's got to have a thing, you know? Yeah. you got to have a thing. I chose this next one for a reason. Yeah? Yeah, B I did. Bust this out. What we got? Uh, this th is Clarence Carter, Actually, Atlantic. We didn't, we didn't play this next, but let's go no, no, talk no, no, about no. it. No, 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 no. Uh, this is Clarence Carter, blind uh, R&B singer Woo. from uh, Muscle Souls, Alabama. Yes, sir. He hooked up with Rick Hall and uh, recorded a lot of great, great music. Uh, this was recorded by Rick Hall and, and his band, and I, I, I mention this because I recently saw a documentary that I wish you guys would see so we could talk about it. Yeah, it's coming up. I think it came out last year. It's called R Muscle Shoals. Muscle Shoals. It's on Netflix, it's, folks. If you have Netflix, go to Netflix, look up Muscle Shoals. Uh, that's S-H-O-A-L-S. Anyway, th it's fantastic. It, it opened my mind. I thought Muscle Shoals, uh, yeah, Leonard Skinner references Muscle Shoals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Muscle Shoals has got the swampers. Boop, boop, boop. But it is so much more than that. It is so fantastic. Uh, a lot of R&B stuff. And we'll talk more right? about that for Dirt Dig of the Week. But uh, okay. there's some really great stuff that came out of Muscle Shoals, and I recommend this. And that's why I chose this album to play of Clarence Clemens. Okay. What the hell you call His it? His biggest hit was Patches, by the way. Patches, I'm depending on your son. Oh, yeah. To pull the family yeah, through. Was that in the movie? Uh, probably. No, keep singing. That's great. That's, sorry about that. Wow, that's... Okay. <laughs> that was actually a soundbite from uh, the MP3 of uh, Clarence Clement. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's big time business. Yeah. Are we what? on Dig of the Week? I'm bringing it on into Dig you, of the you Week. Played some, you played this, stuff. We okay, don't talk about okay. it. Okay. We'll separate okay, discussion. Okay, I understand. Yeah, we'll separate discussion. I understand. So we're going to go into the old dig of the week. Uh, and, uh, talk about some records that me and Steve-O picked up here this week or so. So you dug a little. I dug a little you bit. You know, I think Bossman dug a little. You dug a little bit. And I think he needs to talk about that. That's coming up later. That's coming up later. You're right. You're right. So, uh, all right. What's, what's, uh, what's, that? what's that? What's that? So during, the, during, during the old switch around the curveball. During the natural switch. You, you're gonna switch before the chip. We're going yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just one before. For sure. For sure. He's okay. like the relief. Hey, uh, got a little sad note to mention here this evening. I hate to be the uh, bearer. Roar. Roar. The bearer of bad news. Well, we are a family. It's good to know what's going on in the family. Yeah, um, I don't want to mention who or who it is or what relation they are to me. Very young gentleman, a friend of mine. Has he been on the show? He's been on the show. He has past. been on the show. Uh, we won't name any names. How old? How old? How old? Trouble? How old? Heart trouble? Uh, mm -hmm. And it, it, was, it was a little bit of a situation. A grown man problem. It was a grown man problem. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. And so I thought I would pull a couple of records uh, to play. There are a couple of his favorite records, just okay. to kind of, even just uh, orally. Hour or hourly, hourly or hourly, hourly. hourly. kind of keep them in our thoughts and okay. our music vibes. Sure. Hourly, hourly, hourly. Who? Yeah, who? Yeah, yeah. But just kind of keep it right there on that vibe, just to send him some good thoughts. You know, okay. whether he feels that or not, that's between you and Jesus Christ. Ain't got nothing to do with me, boy. <laughs> Ain't got nothing to do with me now. It's with your personal relationship. Your own personal Jesus. Uh, so uh, I played the Tool. Uh, the undertow. Tool. The Tool. The Tool Undertow album. The Tool. From a man. 
I love and, this album uh, so much. Uh, girlfriend hooked me up with this for Christmas. And I like that birthday. you didn't play the big, big songs. You played some of the others. Which yeah, we, I love this album entirely. So we played a couple. Um, played a couple weeks ago. We played some of the hits. Danny Carey. Of, oh man, Danny Carey's a beast. One of the um, best drummers. And also, this, we actually didn't play this, but uh, we're going to play it here coming up. Okay. From the Music on Vinyl series of uh, releases. Some of the best vinyl the reissues, best reissues you can get. This is Music Faith No More's album of the year. And this is, uh, what a great, this is a 92, I believe it is, uh, Faith No More release. What year, what's on that? Fantastic. Album of the year is uh, one of the worst. Hey. What something coming your, something coming Inter your way. Interstage left. We got stuff coming my way here. What are we doing here? Exit stage right. Hey, mm. so while we're talking about our homeboy that's kind of down and out at the moment, uh, let's let's tilt a little uh, tilt a little glass, internet friends. So internet friends, sending Cheers. some positive musical vibes to my man. So there we go. That's some good business. Some liquid nitrogen, son. What was that? Woo. It's explosive, Steve. Explosive. Um, won't you bust out some dig of the week material, yeah, there, I, my friend? Yeah, I, I hit a few places. Now you went out of town down I, there. I was not on the show last week. He was not on the show. Now um, we have renegotiated your contract to what I believe to be a fair amount, and uh, it also included for new glasses frames and a new uh, face beard. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it was included. I don't know about that. That's part of the rider. You know, you go out of town. And you, I agreed you, to that. You take on a persona, you come back a new, a new, a, a new identity. I agreed to that. Okay. Uh, that was part of the rider, and I was okay with that. So you picked up some records Let before my, you went out of town. I put on my digging hat. Oh yeah, the digging hat. You gotta have a digging hat. I don't have a, I don't have a digging hat. What is this, Russia? It's so Russia, is it? I, uh, I had a busy, busy day, a week ago, a week ago and a day, eight days ago. Eight days ago. Yeah. Steve says. And it was a 17-hour workday. <laughs> now, if you're on the VC, you kind of know I posted some of it, whatever. But um, I was able to hit a spot that was right. You could throw a rock from where we were working. There was yeah. this antique mall. Oh. And it had records on floors one, two, and three. Okay. Now, we'd been there before. I'd been there before and, f and looked at records on the third, the third floor. Too. The yeah. third floor. The third floor, the guy's got a record shop. Well, most of his shit sucks, by the way. Yeah. It's warped. He thinks he wants a lot of money for warped records. Yeah, Who the hell wants tough. that? That's they tough. don't. They don't get it. But I was able to find some really cool stuff there. Um, so I'll get straight to it. So here's. Uh, I did find this on the oh, third Jimmy floor. Smith. It's a Jimmy on, Smith Steve. record. Any number can win. From 1963 on the Verve. Oh. Jimmy Smith is. Anybody knows he's probably one of my favorites. I have probably more Jimmy Smith records than. I mean, there's Herbie Mann, Jimmy Smith. I might have more Jimmy Smiths than I have Herbie Mann. Huh. So, and Herbie, your Herbie Mann, you can get cheap. And you can get them cheap. Jimmy Smith, you have to look a little hard. This is oh, a, a really good record in really good shape. God, and Jimmy Smith on the Verve. I love the Verve. That encompasses everything I love about record and collecting. And this record, record, that record, side two on that record, yeah, blows me away. Smoke. Here's another Jimmy Smith record I got. So okay. This is called Jimmy Smith Same Plays spot? the Standards. Same spot. Okay. Um, Double header. It's it's not as good as the first one. It's from 1967. It's on Sunset Records. He's playing standard jazz tunes, but yeah. you you're getting standard jazz tunes the Jimmy Smith way. So you can't go wrong with that. No, sir. Um, another one I picked up that day was John Luke Ponte. Okay, I've got that one. Cosmic Messenger. Great I'm not gonna say a lot about it because I know you you've you've showed it before. It's, it's a, a great record, it's a great John Luke Ponte record. And if you look, you can get it pretty cheap and uh, it's worth Yeah, look up. for John Luke Ponte. He's a great and look at it look for it in good great shape. fusion. Yeah. Great and, jazz. Be be be, be kind of careful with your John Luke Ponte's. If it's if it's in sort of rough shape, pass on it. Pass cuz so you'll many times you, you, when you find fusion records, they're in perfect condition. Yeah, you'll run. Cuz someone it. heard it once and didn't get into it or whatever, so they never yeah. played it or they were they were really meticulous and they took good care of the record. Sure. Um, I was also really uh, honored to, to find some Rolling Stones records okay, in the man. same spot. Same spot. Um, this one's funny because it's the big hits. It's a compilation that came out. Uh, I forget what year, but it's actually big hits is not in there. Huh. It, I wish it had been because the mono pressing of big hits is wor worth some coin. It's, yeah. it's a good record. This actually what it is is um, Got Live If You Want It. It's this 1966 live album of the Stones. And there's some where Mick doesn't quite hit the notes, but there's some that's so good where they're just wailing on some of these songs. Yeah. Uh, I also got um, Goathead Soup. 
on Rolling Stones Records Ooh. from 1973. Uh, I think Angie might be on that album, if I'm not mistaken. What year did you say? 1973. Okay. Uh, my high school sweetheart name was Angie, so this this song oh, means means a lot to me. Geez. 1981. This is the album that everybody remembers. Tattoo You, cool Start album. Me Up. Yeah. I mean, come on. There's a great, there's a great uh, song with uh, Keith Richards singing on there. I can't remember what it was. That's uh, cool, man. Do you want to take one? I got a few more. About I mean, I've today, only got three. The spot we hit. Well, I'll go ahead and tell you what I did. And then when I got back this week, yep. I went. there's this place that I know of. Tell us a little bit about this place. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. I don't want to rev- tell you too much about it, but I found a place. My wife actually found it and, and, and clued me in on it. And I went and checked it out, and the guy in the basement of his store has vinyl. It's not well organized. It's well enough organized, though. Um, Small enough collection. He doesn't that quite doesn't get matter. the picture of what's going on in the world. Yeah. I think some of his prices are a little high. There are some high Because he's got some records that aren't in the best shape, but they're cool records. Yeah. And he may be looking up, like, how much does the yeah. uh, oh, near wow. mint copy? Sell for yeah, yeah. And this so one anyway, with a big scratch is the same price. Before I came back to the office to tell you that this guy, but all winter he we'd go by there and he wasn't open. Yeah. Well, apparently his furnace his furnace was busted, so he didn't want to be open. And I can understand it'd be cold as shit in there. Sure. But it was very it's very nice in the basement right now when it's 90, 80 degrees outside. It's really nice in the basement. So I, I brought back uh, Sticky Fingers, Rolling Stones. Uh, this yeah. is the Andy Warhol cover, and this cover's in pretty good shape. Someone, of course, tried to look at the crotch and, and tore the side of it, as happens on every Sticky Fingers yeah. cover. Everybody wants to see the dork. The dork is in there somewhere of in, the, there in is. his underwear. But it's a really cool Andy Warhol cover. Uh, those were my Rolling Stones picks for the week, yeah. which I was real happy because I don't have a lot of stones. I love them. I like the stones. My favorite period is Sticky Fingers, and, and, <laughs> and I will say another thing. Period. I, I recommend that Muscle Shoals uh, documentary. Yeah. Uh, they recorded uh, Brown Sugar. They recorded three songs off of this album. They recorded most of the main tracks at uh, Muscle Shoals because they wanted that. Is that the sound. only album they did there? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. They did uh, uh, Wild Horses and Brown yeah. Sugar, which Brown Sugar to me yeah, is, it, is it, my favorite all time. Yeah, it's funny song. because I've never been the biggest Stones fan. Me neither. Everybody has always said, oh, have you ever heard Sticky Fingers on vinyl? Yeah. It's I mean, not in the Scoot best shape, but it's, in, it's yeah. in good enough shape. Okay. Uh, I also picked up... Inter- oh, back up, Steve. Introducing... Wow. Hold on now. Introducing the Beatles. This is the mono press. But I don't know, quite know what I have here, because if, if anybody knows anything about this album, it's probably the most uh, bootlegged album. There's so, so many got, copies. Hey, pull the record out just a shade. So we got what we got show, going on here. Show the, show the inner... There you go. Uh, you we got, got a rainbow VJ. You got the VJ in the, in the circle, the rainbow VJ. Um, there are the markings that it is the mono pressing from 64. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I'm I've happy to have it. It's in pretty good shape, though, for an old 64 record, yeah. which I'm 64. I'm old. Yeah. Me and this record are, is kindred. It's, this record's kindred to me because. Sure. When the Beatles came to America is when I was born, so it's like it, that's important. And I, and I sure. a while back, if anybody's watched the show, I, I was really gaga about getting the Beatles record, especially of that time period. Yep. They asked you, you put out, around your birthday. They time. actually put out six records in '64, I think. Wow, six records. That's crazy. Business. Um, lastly, for now, I picked up a Kraftwerk, Computer World. Oh this yeah. This is a 1981 Warner Brothers album. And according to Boss Man, he might want to get on the mic on this. I, I didn't know this. So I got to pass the mic. This was a, a sampled album. Okay. What do you know about this, Boss Man? Yeah, that Kraftwerk album, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of influential, like, backbone hip-hop back in the day, early... Yeah. Just grabbing crazy sounds of the the, the whacked out hip hop cats. The okay. Real, the real out there in the ether cats. And, yeah. Um, and like I'm and Portishead and oh, Massive wow. Attack. Okay. Oh, Where we're supposed? To, I got Massive Attack ready to play. You know, <laughs> and, and, and and the group that I, I like that I mean I know it's influential to them would be the the, the Baby Nambus. I mean yeah. check them out. Baby Nambus. <laughs> All right. 
Big All right. time. Do you want me to run through these real quick? So then I decided, okay, I'm gonna bring boss. I'm gonna bring uh, Mikey Bananas into this because I've been trying to get him over there, but every time we went, the effing place was yeah, closed. Yeah, I, be I began to think he was full blown. I think he's so over blown. Overall, space. I think some of his generic prices are too high, but I, it's still worth worth a visit. Yes. Okay. So I took him over there. Um, quickly while we were there, I picked up. A f I was gonna pick up more, but I was like, ah, I can't play. Just because some yeah, of his prices price are stupid. A little bit. A little bit. Just but like that dude on the cover. The Risky Business. Oh, fuck. The Risky Business Bam. soundtrack. And it's a great soundtrack. And the main reason I picked it up is because Tangerine Dream does like four or five or six oh, yeah. pieces on here, including the scene where they're making love on Plus, the train. Look at that right there. Oh, you're looking at Tom Cruise's crotch. Are you kidding me? Dorktown. I'm going to Dorktown. Whitey tights. That's what it's about right there. Wow. I love it. What a great movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. It actually yeah. was a good movie. It was one of the, one of the better ones. Uh, another one I picked up really in good shape. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah. This is Genesis, A Trick of the Tale. Uh, 1976. It's Phil Collins, and I'm, I'm more of a Peter Gabriel, but this is a great, great album. It is. And this, this, this one's in really, really good shape. I've got it. I was I, real proud to pick up this copy. Yeah, I, I've got it, and I was almost tempted to buy that again. Okay. Because it was in such good shape. I mean, yeah. mine's in pretty good shape, yeah. and I spent a little bit on it. Probably about that same price. Well, last but not least... Um, I picked up this record, and I know you're not a fan yeah. of R.E.M., well, you're not a fan, but Mike? I am. Uh, I have a connection oh, with these yeah. guys. I this is Fables, the of Fables of the Reconstruction. Uh, it came out in 85. I, w I, I was in school 82 to 86, so this is an important album for me. Right uh, down when you were down there in Athens. In Athens, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it, it's a great album, and I like it because it's IRS, uh, 85. And they, the drum sounds to me when they went Warner Brothers, and you get the big sound of REM yeah. with don't you don't you know yeah. um, this, this one goes up the one I love and all that. That's fine and all, but it, on the way down to Atlanta this week, we listened. My wife and I listened to Fables of the Reconstruction just before I even picked this up. Yeah. I had to listen to this album, and then I listened to Document, which is the one with all the big hits on yeah. it. This has some good hits on it as well, but. I so much prefer the earlier college rock sound yeah. of the drum kit. It doesn't have that heavy, just stadium rock sound. You, you know, I've been I've been really thinking about that a lot lately, and uh, it started last week when we were talking about that Kingsman record. Yeah. And uh, you know, somebody commented on YouTube that the parents went and saw Kingsman and stuff, and they're Pacific Northwest garage rock legends and stuff, and. You know, I, I think about like, like they get the credit for the hits, like Louie Louie right, and right. shit like that. And uh, that shit sounds smooth and it's real groovy and poppy and whatnot. But if you break it down, uh, a band like that, they're just, especially when you hear them live on a record like what we showed last week, it's, it's raw and rugged and live and just gnarly. And, it is. Uh, really it is. just garage edgy. rock. It's so good, man. And yeah. uh, I think bands like, and maybe that's why I'm not the biggest fan of R.E.M. is because I grew up with already polished right. and produced R.E.M. Yeah. Whereas I didn't get to experience the independent R.E.M. And maybe I need to go back and revisit that. Okay. Because okay. I always love and respect bands like that. I even can if I don't, that. Even if I don't like the bands that much, I respect bands that come yeah, from the right place. There's an early 80s sound that got buried in, in the bigger sound. Sure. And the early 80s sound is the early R.E.M., Pylon, Let's Active from Winston Salem, yep. which we passed on today, by the way. Yeah. And this, there's a, there's a, there's a vibe that was missed out in the whole as it got big thing. Yeah. That, that you might want to revisit. Sure. It's worth. A, there's several little music scenes like that that you're like, maybe you were in a different headspace at the time. Maybe go back and revisit and give her, give everything a chance when it comes to right down to it. Hell, give peace a chance give, for that much. Give pizza a chance. Give pizza. I like a pepperoni on my pizza pie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's wrong, man? Hey, I think that uh, you can show some stuff, and I'm going to walk out of here. And I think uh, our other guest wants to show something. Okay, we're doing multi guests tonight, but I'll tell you what. I'll try to do this without making too much noise. Uh, this is what I picked up um, today from the spot that. Uh, that you uh, turned me on to there, uh, Steve-O Fever. And uh, everybody knows I'm a sucker for the Verve. Verve is my favorite label ever. And uh, I like the stock of paper they use. I like the smell of Verve. I like the music. I like the little, I like the inner sleeves. I like, I, I like everything about them. 
Um, and this was uh, Jazz Samba, Stan Getz, and Charlie Bird. I think this is what, 1960? Uh, it's 62. It's early, man. It is early. It's okay. the old black and uh, black and silver <laughs> verf. Yeah, man. Man. The best label. That's just what I love. That's just things I love about life. That's a gatefold? I didn't realize what? it was a gatefold. Look at that. We'll hold that guy up. Hold that guy up, my man. Now, Steve, you've got this record. Yeah, you do. That black and silver, the Oakland Raiders style cover, man. I just love it. Love it. Boom. You want to show some gatefold, okay. Steve? It's up to you, baby. You want to show a gatefold? It's, it's, it's how you roll. It's your name. Like, There's three young ladies uh, singing in harmony in the front row. That's all right, sisters. Live how you want to live. More about that uh, lately. Um, okay, so we... I dug that record today, right? Right. Speaking of what I just said and fr oh. coming out of my mouth business, um, little Chuck Berry. One of my, oh, my all-time Chuck Berry music heroes. That was one of my all-time music heroes. And I made a little, uh, I made a little decree to myself here in the past couple of months. I'm gonna collect everything damn Chuck Berry I can. Well, this asshole today had some stuff that was like ten, twelve dollars. You hardly ever see Chuck Berry out there, though. It's true. Some of this stuff was. I wouldn't mind, when you do, it's jacked up. I wouldn't mind ten to twelve dollars. These were jacked up. That was yeah. the problem. Because uh, they, they were ones to have, but they were jacked. At another place we go, they've got um, a dozen berries or what? Uh, yeah, the yeah. first Chuck Berry with the berries on the cover. Uh -huh. It's twelve dollars, and I'm like, oh, because another spot we go to, it's thirty. But I'm like, twelve dollars, sweet, oh, pull it out. It. Jacks. Whoop whoop whoop. Hanger. Like, Man, that's. Ain't got I'll, time for that. If I'm gonna pay for it, I'm gonna pay for it. Nineteen sixty-two. Sixty-two. That's what Stan I said. Gets, yeah. Uh, Stan Getz and uh, Charlie Bird. Yeah, that Charlie Bird yeah. does Stan Getz's 1962 on the bird. Yes, sir, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's Live. what you are talking about. But hey, this uh, Chuck Berry. This is the um, the London uh, the London Chuck Berry sessions. On uh, it's on chess, man. It's actually you on chess. You gonna play that earlier tonight? Or you're gonna play it later. I'm gonna play it as soon as this damn show's over. What? And uh, what if I had uh, what if I had an episode now? I'll oh, fade it out, it. man. I want a little Chuck Berry before I go down. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Last thing I want to hear before I go down, a little Chuck Berry. Hang a while. I remember as a kid, I was really into Chuck Berry, and that's one of the first, like, my own tapes. You know, Me too. To, you know, Sweet Maybelline. I've got one over there that's wore out. Solid, straight, Yeah, I used to go out. crazy on it. It was that. I mean, it was weird. It was that, and it was Rolling Stone's greatest hits, and the cover was, like, a head and a head and a head and a head, like, like silhouette. That's Hot Rocks. That's an, that's not a greatest hit. That is a greatest. It's a compilation. It's one of the earlier compilations Steve of said. that of that Stevie period. Stevie off camera killing it. It's a double album called Hot Rocks. It's a yeah. head within a head within a head. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's blue. It's kind of a blue color. I never had the the actual wax. I had oh. the I had the that's cassette, bright, and yeah. the cassette was just you know whatever. What okay. But uh, I had that in Chuck Berry, and that was like my first. Yeah, my parents thought I was retarded because I had uh, I'd play that Chuck Berry tape and get a tennis racket, and yeah, okay, cool, everybody. You every, just jamming out. On yeah, it? jamming out on the tennis <laughs> racket. Every kid does that. No, no, no. I would do it for like hours. Tape would stop, chunk, rewind. Damn, you must just have batteries for days on chunk, the rewind. Hit play again. <laughs> I didn't have batteries like that. I would I'd always do have to do no the batteries. flip. AC power. I'd do it all day long. I'd, I'd listen to Chuck Berry all day long. You can't hide money, and, man. And, and just jam <laughs> on the tennis racket. You can't hide so, money. Anyhow, weird other thing about this. I, I was like, oh, I come back. I'm, I try to, when I pick up a, a new little fresh little stack, I'm trying to add all my collection into my Discogs account. It's a daunting task. It is daunting. Several, I, wish I, I wish I'd done that. A couple thousand in there, yeah. roughly. It's hard. I, it's I hard to do now. Yeah. I want Excel. You can't get Excel in there. But, but I think at the end of the day, at the end of the day, having it on sell, I think it's a better way to go. Because you never know. Yeah, if, but you can't import into Discogs. Which yeah, is but you right know, now. if Discogs uh, ever takes a hit, yeah, servers sure. down. They're probably, owned by, they're, probably owned should, by, they're probably owned by the Chinese. You should. It's better to have your own three, file. Two. Actually, you should have both. You should have your own file, and you should have them on Discogs. Because you, you can do everything. You, you can do opposite. Everything. You can load them onto Discogs and export it. Let's, as take, a spreadsheet. let's take all the records on a list and shoot them up to the moon and plant them there. But anyhow, I'm, I've started, so I try to come in and enter my new shit in my Discogs just to, you know, 
Oh, nip it well, in the yeah, bud. Well, you got to do it. the right thing. You got to nip yeah. it in the bud. You're just trying to do the right thing. But you haven't gone back. This mf -er right here. No, I do it every time. But okay. This, this mf -er right here, this Chuck Berry uh, London session. I've never heard that out. Can we hold that up? Yeah, yeah we, we really did. did. We'll double but, do it. But I'll, do, it again, I'll, do it again. I'll tell you. Your face. Um, Talk to me, Mikey Bananas. All of them say it's a damn gatefold, boss man. What? Uh, it's not, though. This ain't a gatefold unless it's one of the Dutch or, uh, no, no, the New Zealand pressing is the one I find that kind of matches this one up. That doesn't make any damn sense. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, I don't and know. Okay, I got one purchase. I spent a little bit of money on this, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot in the world of Mikey Bananas. I took a little easy this week. Couldn't pass on this. Them Dirty Blues, oh. the Cannonball Adderley Quintet yeah. featuring Nat Adderley. This oh, is on the Riverside Jazz what Series. What year is that? That's a gem. Uh, I think it's 1959 or 1960. That's about the earliest Cannonball Yeah, I was going like, to say 61, 62, yeah. but I bet you're right. It's 59 or 60. And uh, this is mono. And uh, let me tell you what. Um... You can't go wrong with Cannonball. No, sir. I mean, any day of the week, on the album. There's a picture on the back with him and his brother, Nat. Yeah, Nat's, ah. on, Nat's on this record here. Lower. Yeah, right there, Thank brother. You. Um, You're good. And Check I'll tell out. you a special thing that I thought about this record is... Tell me what you thought. Talk to me, man. Real talk. I never believe ha halfway... That wasn't not funny. That wasn't not funny. My underwears was coming off, and it wasn't not funny. Name that show. Name that show. Hit us up in the chat. Um, and name what movie said person that said that was in. Mm. I see you people in a circle. Um, what the hell was I talking about? The Trivia apocalypse. challenge. What the hell was I talking about? Oh, this cat right Nat here. Nat Adderley? Banging. Cannibal Adderley? Teaching Nat Adderley, doing big yep. things, yep. kicking down doors. Your vacation last week? Lost it. Times have gone. I lost it. I lost all of it. The show is going uh, to hell in the handbasket. I'm out of here. No, but, you, you covered it. You covered no, your head. No, let's cover it again. There was I something else saying about you it. Got your, you got no, your I don't album. even have my wax. What I think it's over there. I don't no, know I've got it. I've got it down here. Oh, oh he has so it I'll tell you what. And uh, anyhow, this... Uh, Cop that. But you know what I need? We, we should play. No, it? here's what I was saying. Oh, here we okay. Go. Mm. Oh, boom, everybody. Everybody take a lap. Big Daddy, take a lap. Get that, cut that mess off your I neck. I never believe it when anybody says something is near mint. Even though sometimes maybe it is a near mint. When I see near mint, my initial thought is bullshit. It's probably it's very good. If it's, it's very near good mint. plus, it's very good plus. You, I, I want to give it the plus. I bet you. You're so uh, generous. Well, I'm just well, saying. Look, you're a lover. There's a couple of records I've seen used in my day that I would have been like, okay, whoa, that's clean. That's that's near mint. A couple in all of my days in doing record shit. I bought records that didn't come out mint. Let me tell you what. <laughs> I mean, this record, especially from something that old, 59, 60. Well, look at the, this, I mean, the cover, this, there's hardly it, anywhere. There's this a stain is on the, back. the cleanest piece of vinyl I have ever seen for I a jazz it, record this But old. it's called the Dirty Blue. Yeah, and look right there. There's, there's a, a little schmutz on the back of the. There's a stain of black tar heroin. In? On or, the is back that, or is that feces? It could be feces. Oh, feces. Is that, fe is that fecal matter? But it's on the back food. of the... Um, fecal. These are dirty blues after all. But seriously. Uh, it is dirty But blues. seriously, folks. All jokes aside. The, um, it's a serious show. The, um, one, oh. of the, one of the most... The cleanest records I've ever seen. You like those things. That's old. That old. It's, well, it's rare when you find one. And you know that one was in a good collection. Somebody took care of it. Yeah. Or obviously. bought it and never listened to it because they thought it was bunk and it was it's given been to sitting them. on the shelf, whatever. But that's a, uh, man, what a great dig of the week. We've had, uh, dig well, well we're not really done with dig of the week. Yo, yo, yo. Because um, we're going to talk about one more record. One more record for the evening. Oh, you got man. It. You said you had it. It's a doozy. Yeah, he has it's it. a doozy. It's a doozy. It's a doozy. Now, it was part of what we played. Actually. Yeah, it's part of what we played. Part of. And see, the thing is, the bossman showed up with a damn present. Yeah, for a present for Grown Man Record Night, because you know I'm a believer in what you guys do and what you guys stand for. Even though myself, I'm not. I'm not really a record collector. I have okay. collected records and had records in my possession. Over the years and the yeah. time and in the college, you know, I was in vinyl big time. 
and a lot of my friends are into vinyl, yeah. you know, back in New York and whatnots. Um, and I'm just a lover of vinyl in the whole nine. You sure, know? I mean, sure. Who doesn't I'm, love it? Yeah, it's cool. It's just, you know, I mean, well, anyways, I I digress. You brought some stuff up. Yeah, but let's let's just do a little a little surprising. Fr- yeah, a little front talk. Happy birthday! Bow. No. Happy birthday. Now let's talk for real. Happy birthday. You know when you're when you're 18, and, and we've we've talked like this before. Sure. Like when you're 18 and, and, and you grew up in the 90s, like how you and me. Oh did, yeah. You, I mean, you listen to rap music. Of course. I mean, it didn't matter if you lived in the burbs or if you lived in the hood. I mean, everybody was, everybody was bumping beats. And why you listen to this? Because some rap music was really good. And even yep. though back in the day you may not have known it was like a classic or. You know, it's going to go down in history as like sure. a dope, a dope song. It may have kept one of your parties moving. That's worth its weight in gold. Exactly, and the contest enter uh, June thirteenth. Oh, but um, oh. but but you know, over time, over time, you know, uh, why do you still listen to hip hop when you're thirty eight years old? Is because some cats have progressed so far that it's really now. A legitimate art, and it's no joke. Yeah. And these cats are are taken like 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 this. This is a great. Even you know, old mugs are starting to respect. Yeah, them. yeah. I mean, and if you haven't if you haven't ex- explored some awesome producers like this cat, Madlib, Pete Rock, DJ Premier. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. I mean, you are you really don't know what's going on. And keep and, talking. I'm pouring some more funny down me. Oh, you got to do it. And, and this is a great example of it. Mad Lib, who's this cat that came out of uh, uh, California in the 90s, he first got his break doing the production for the Alcoholics, but he's a for real musician all the way around. Producer, uh, beat maker, uh, a musician, yeah. a lyricist. This was some legit shit. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure he can make pancakes. I mean, Hell yeah. I mean it's, a, it's a whole thing, but this cat, got into the original early blue note collection and you got to get completely funky with it anything you want to do and and we listen to side a of the first piece of wax yeah you know what i think is really cool is uh, they also on the back list um all the original artists and like what they're pulled from yeah so 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 you can educate and you can pass it on because that's the cool thing about Good hip hop music, and and there's and there's whack hip hop, and there's really good lasting hip hop. Is the really good shit is based on really good music from back in the day. Hell yeah! And that's the thing that I, you know I know my parents didn't respect. You know, at least my dad. I mean, geez, he, he broke my Chronic CD. I mean, of who, who would do that? What kind of lunatic? Um, but it's because it's based on the best of jazz thing, music, the best of rock music. Because they, yeah. they're taking the samples, they're taking the riffs. It's a good if that's what it takes to pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. I mean, it's music. It's music. Don't and, let it die. And the first track we listened to, um, the first side, there was cats from Monk Higgins, uh, Slim's Return, Distant Land by Donald Byrd, Mystic Bounce by Ronnie uh, Forrester, and Stormy by J R Cobb. Yeah, I mean. Man. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty heavy, dank. Man. Yeah, and you got you got um, Herbie Hancock on this. You have Andrew Hill on this. I was this. really really impressed by this album. This it is awesome. Is. And we're just getting started with it. You pick this up locally. Yeah, I pick this up locally. Underdog. If you're if you're what? in the Winston, you know, North Carolina area, what? doing your thing, getting dirty, you know, waving it up like a helicopter. Scrape your knuckles. You know, I mean, but but this is good. And what's cool about it too. And I don't mean to be talking all fast, like I'm on speed. But, that's we are, 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 are. Ah! Um, but this is just how I'm doing, uh, is a cool little blue note yeah, yeah. in the middle. So, you know, it's original. It's for realsies. Speaking, cool, speaking in that New York Minute talk. New yeah, York New York Minute talk. Yeah, the New York Minute talk. Is that a segue, Steve? It is a segue. All right. It could be. It could be, because after all that talking, it made me a little thirsty. So I tell I you know. what. While we're here, we're gonna slide on in. What, the, what a super, super cool record to bring over to the collection, man. Yeah, and it's and it's I mean, yours for, for the collection, man. Oh man, that's just I don't even know what to say about that. I know, man. I know. I'm a I'm a gracious guy. I give. I don't know. I'm a, I mean, I'm a giver. I'm a philanthropist. Yeah. I mean, 
I mean, I help babies. It's all about the little duns. We're gonna play some hip hop when this shit's over. We're gonna play some more of that. We we're got gonna that, get crunk. We're gonna we get that turn sealed this... slum village. We're gonna yeah, play. Yeah, break it out. Yeah, we'll do a couple of things. Do it. And we'll play that faith no more for James, <laughs> man, just because uh, send some vibes. So we're going right in from this uh, on just a little so to speak action. We got a cool soda. The girlfriend picked up for us. I'm gonna slide this over here. Do it. Oh, we're on the air. <laughs> all the all the people are telling me we're. We're knocking out of the park, Steve. Number one TV show. A number one. Everybody told me already. Mm. Tip top. One. Number one. Disney perfect. You put a balloon on your dingus. Yeah, but we are. They're cheaper than condos. We are very. We're way cooler than Disney with our. Hey. What we got going you get on? a? Do you get a message from somebody about about someone's use of Mitchum? Oh yeah, there was a cool. Uh, let me just read this, folks. And I don't oh, like to Mitchum. be. Mitchum. I just want to bring this up. Earlier, Switch him to Mitchum. They're a sponsor of the show. They're yeah. a sponsor of the show on the back end. I re- just They're, to let the, you guys know, I don't the, have a graphic about this, but I recently picked up a double pack. They sell it in a, in a you can buy one, get one, gone. basically. It's already gone. I don't have and it. You get a BOGO? Eight, you get 48 hours of protection with this mug. 48 hours of protection, Steve. Get out of here. You like, remember the good old like days? Oxy- just, you get like, out of here. It's like oxygen activated and stuff. Get so out of here, Steve. I don't know what that means, but damn, you're I think it means you welcome shit. here anymore, Steve. <laughs> Well, let's talk about this soda. We yeah, digress. You, you stay here if you want to. <laughs> you stay if you want to stay. Yeah. Okay, we got a we got a soda here. Uh, Disconnect. Frosty. He's crazy. Frosty. The snowman. Oh, strawberry watermelon soda. What? What? It's strawberry it. watermelon. Don't they make a root beer? Frosty's known for the root beer. Oh, I think maybe the same company. There, I don't Steve. know. If it's Frosty it is no, like well the... known for the root beer. I'm Frosty excited about beer. it. Frosty root beer is really good. No, I can't I, read none of this. I pure can't. cane sugar. Oh. You take the first drag. Good because my I don't have a breakout or a flare up right now. So you're so we're all straight. Yeah. Hey Freddie, how's Does the hurt? Zimbalta keeping that down for you? Pull over, Freddie. Zimbalta is doing the right thing Zimbalta. for me. Zimbalta. How's the hurts? <laughs> Efren Zimbalta Jr. You know, you know I, folks, but I don't really have, so I, I break the pill in So half. let me show the bottle to, the, to our, our fine folk. No, nah, let him drink, man. Oh, that's really good, though, but it's really, it's like a... It, this is strawberry watermelon, right? It's definitely like a kid soda. Oh, wow. It's like a pixie stick, folks. Yeah. That shit is liquid, liquid crack. Woo! Do it, Steve. You're going to be on the floor twitching. Twitch it. Mm. Jacob over Turn down for what? That's, cool. like, that's like candy right there. Yeah, it tastes like a Jolly Rancher, man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's yes, a watermelon. It okay, it's all right, we nailed it. Jolly Rancher. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Next mm-hmm. soda. No, that's all we're doing. Yeah, that's all we're doing. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> uh, that's uh, really good. We don't though. like to sit there and drink sodas all night. But you. just like Cookie Monster says about cookies nowadays, <laughs> it's a sometimes treat. It's good enough for me. Why? Because sometimes he does carrots and celery and shit now, right? Yeah. There's that's nothing cool. wrong with that. No, but this cool. is a sometimes yeah, soda. Yeah, whatever. Cave into the man. This is a sometimes soda. Um, it's a yeah. sometimes food. Well, yeah. it's this soda. It's still after sweet. I do my homework and, and clean my room food. Come on. I like the good old days of Cookie Monster would kill a motherfucker. Cookie, cookie, and cookie. Maybe, yeah. what we're seeing. I mean, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I remember. Yeah. No, we'll bleep it out later. Thank you. Bleep it out later. Uh, when Cookie Monster, I remember back. Oh, in you're the, a monster, man! What's she gonna do about it? I remember back in the day, one of my friends was a really good artist, and he drew an entire landscape scene of a Sesame Street joint, and it had Count Dracula on the roof throwing kids off, and it was like three, two, one, you know, like as he counts, like throwing the kids off. Wow! And it was like a drug deal with like Oscar the Grouch and Big Bird, and there was like, yeah, it was like mad crazy. <laughs> and, 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 and I wish today I had it like framed on my wall, but whatever. But like, I, hey, let's let's That's a big get, time story. That is a big time story. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say about that. I don't know either. <laughs> that seems know. like there was a lot more to that. And I feel like we're cutting that short. <laughs> I, know, I know, we are I'm cutting feeling bad about it as a man I know, and as, a, I know. as an entertainer. But you know, we'll catch on the B side. Okay. We'll deep tease it we'll until deep, the ratings period. We'll de- yeah, we, we just ran out of ratings. So I tell you what, let's, uh, I done got my ass hungry. So for this edition hungry, here on Hungry, 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 Hippo. You're watching Grown Man Record Nights, live internet programming every Friday night from 8.30 until on Ustream.tv slash channel slash Machete Miller. Grown Man Record Night. So we're going into a ch- uh, chip chat, folks. 
I uh, apologize for that station identification. It's the law. Yeah, FCC. I don't know what else to tell you about it. Because, uh, you know, when Cobra Commander took over the FCC in 1996, uh, he passed a lot of crazy laws. Because Cobra Commander is a sadistic SOB. SOB. But the one I don't want to say. I don't want to say the no, word. No, we're not going to say. But the one no. thing good about Take Cobra is they have brand recognition. Oh yeah. Because you always know when they attack you because oh. they yell it. Yeah. Cobra. I, I wanted to, you know, yeah, like in Red that, Dawn, you know, they you know, attack people. That, that Wolverine. Guy, the leader of oh, Cobra yeah. Command was like a gay guy, right? Okay. Come on, man. Come no, on. that was Destro. Starting it all over. Oh, okay, yeah. no. Hey, well, how about this open bag special that I think was on the open show? Open bag special. We may have done these. The Nathans, like from the Nathans uh, hot dog uh, eating contest. On the hot dogs are hella better than these. Cool. I mean, let me clarify that. I got no problem with that at all. Uh, no, of course. Stevie Fever doesn't have a problem with anything like that. But it's like funny that. that, you know. Well, you know. It's such a. Uh, I think side if, note. if you're going to. But what's a cool side note when we talk about G.I. Joe is where we all work. A little while ago, we used to work with the guy who did the voice for Flint. That's true. Yeah, he's Flint. Dude, hold those You up. know, my man Bill Ratner. Look him up. He did does we, a little did we do these the, on the show before? Yeah. I think we did them before. Back is in the that day. the shot? I can't that's see why that. These are, um, that's why these are open bag specials. This is Nathan's, one of my favorite hot dogs in the whole yeah, world. Yeah, but these, these are, Nathan's. this is pedantic. Okay. No, no, this no. This is pedantic. I think it's pedantic. Hold the actual snack up. So check these out, folks. They're like a these French like, fry, a crinkle crunch. They're French fry. Somewhere between a French fry and like a cheese puff. Yeah, I'll give you that. Light and fresh and puffy. Why you like these, Mike? I really like these. I think this is one of those times that we're gonna have to agree you know, to disagree. You don't this like those? Like, no, this I don't like, like them. This is like an handicap kind of thing, like handicap mm. hot fries. Yeah. But mm -hmm. a different flavor, a different size. I like the handicap snap fries because they're thinner, they, they crisp better, they have a cleaner break. Okay. This is a little the harder, has a little... A, a, Did you just use a gun term to describe a chip? A clean yep. break? Yep. Yeah, I'd use a gun term. That's pretty awesome. Yep. I just had my period. Oh, that's so it. So I'm not pregnant, so everybody can calm down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. I can smell the iron. No babies. No babies. But not, belly, on, not on Sunday. But belly button babies. Tiny hats didn't open on Sunday. <laughs> no. Hey, let's... Uh, okay, we got it. a couple more chips. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Our good friend Ben Daniels now. Oh, we know Benny. that guy. This is Bad Benny, right? Bad, Bad Benny. Benny. Bad Benny Productions. He picked us up a couple of chips today. We're going to feature one of Turn them down for evening. what? We're going to talk about one of them. Diego's Hot and Spicy Chip. Diego. <laughs> Sweaty. Um, red Chili Potato Chips. Red Chili. Now, what is this about this Diego? Where are they out of, Steve? Now, Don't know. Had, they could be I, I, happen to be, I happen to be traveling last Friday. Colorado. I found these in a BP, in a box, traveling? in an in a end aisle on, on the floor. Okay. And I think Benny found the same thing in a BP. He said, you could use it in a BP. I was like, yeah, in a BP. I, I didn't bring them back because we just went here? and killed them. What? Where's there a BP around here? They're all over the place. Mm -hmm. Oh, our, BP gas station. British Petroleum. Petroleum. Oh, yeah. It used to be Amoco. You know what, though? I don't do BP ever since the... Uh, Whatever. I really don't, and, and I never fuck with Exxon since back in the day either. Okay, brother. I do, I do BP right up here because wow. um, I don't want to say why. Sheets is better. Walmart gas is better. Let, let's just gas say I know gas. the people that run this BP Cheaper. from, um, I run the, I know, I know these people since high school, grade school even. Okay. Family that's been around So here this a long is time. the red chili Diego's, right? Yeah. Let me, let me show the bag. I'll, I'll be Bigger. honest with you. I tried these already. I didn't like these. I mean, they're not a bad um, chip, but they're just nothing to write home about. A little bit, a little bit. No other way. There you go. Yeah, right you go. there. Then yeah. a little bit down and a little bit back. Give a little room. There okay. you go. Let it okay. breathe. A little, a little down. There we go. Let down. the shop breathe. There you go. Let okay. the shop breathe. We're finally there. God bless America. It's a, We got you on two. Uh, I don't mind Rico, It says feet. Rico Suave. Meet Diego's Red Chili Chips. Um, okay, Meet Rico em. Suave. I thought these were kind of um, um, like a lot of... Uh, uh, Spice? A lot, a lot of burning love. Because for me, I, I love the dry spice. Yeah, and I tell you why I don't mind it's a dry this. spice, like a like a like a paprika. These taste like why, chips like that claim to be. Like that? These taste like chips that claim to be 
hot sauce chips or hot yeah, chips, hot. but 50% of that hot. So it's like a potato with 50% of the hot of something that says hot chips. Yeah. Not There's bad. There's a spice there. Not bad. A little spice. I will tell you though, I think wow. next week you'll like the bag the that other bag Diego's we're do offers. Next week, because there's two uh, bags. From Diego. We won't talk about the other one until next week. Kill that water, man. Oh, he's killing it. Man, be careful with that water. Be careful. He's drowning himself. Hey, our big bag of the evening. One more chip to talk about. One wow. more chip. I was thirsty. These chips get me so thirsty. These came from the uh, Richmond area? Roanoke area. No, no, yeah. I was sliding up to uh, Lexington, Virginia to go to Washington wow. University. Let's go Kroger. And I, because I wanted to see the final resting place of one of uh, the presidents of the United States, um, okay. Robert E. Lee. Yeah, because that's his final resting place, and he was the president of the Confederacy. Okay, well, <laughs> okay, thank you for that. Was a that us. was a president of the United States? Of the United? Uh, uh, no, they were not united. At Confederate. The time. No, but the Confederate States. The but, of the Confederate I mean, States. it was America. This guy from New York. You goddamn, him. yeah. You goddamn redneck. I know, because the war of northern aggression. <laughs> What, what has happened? We have had a reversal. A I know. Warp reversal. Of, I know. Of roles. You can send editorial letters to Grown Men Record Night. <laughs> Aren't you from the states Route of Southern, 12, King Southern Aggression? Yeah, yeah. Northern Aggression. Northern Sorry. Aggression. I'm from. I. Well, what's funny about that is when <laughs> I was in college in Virginia, uh, in a college class, the history teacher referred to the Civil War as a war of Northern Aggression. And then I'm like thinking to myself. What, what the fuck war is that? Because I didn't know about that war. You know, and I like <laughs> war. So I, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that war. I mean, was that like the Balkan thing? I mean, is, is Grenada. That, is that Grenada? Is that Guam? Um, and so... Gulf of Tonkin. Yeah, so, you know, I raised my hand and I'm like, what war is that? And then dude's like, where are you from? And so, you know, cats like me tell us where we're from. New York. New York, fucker. And um, he was like, yeah, you guys call it the Civil War, and you guys got it all screwed up. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I kind of knew where I stood. I was going to get a best of B. So, mm, whatever. Yeah. But I went up to Washington and Lee because I went to a graduation up there, yeah. checked out Robert E. Lee, did my thing, moonwalked. And on the way back in Roanoke, which is a cool little town that has a dope Roanoke's look. Roanoke's cool. Yeah, I get dope Roanoke little... on my antenna. Oh, you do? Yeah. Had it's a little mountain community. Yeah, it has a dope it's, skyline. It reminds me of Asheville a little bit. Yeah, it's Asheville light. It's Asheville light. And I, I stopped by a Kroger, man, because I because my stomach was hurting. I needed a drop of deuce. Woo. Um, let me grab one of these, bro. Squirt, squirt. Uh -huh. bum, 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 so bam. I felt guilty because <laughs> I crushed it for like 30 minutes, but I still made excellent time um, back to Winston. And so this right here is one of the premium Kroger. This is their Store brand. Store brand. Store brand. And this, it's called, it's called and this chip private is collection. Hard. Can I see what the fuck? I'll tell you what. I mean, it almost broke my. This I is mean, one good. of the craziest flavors I've ever seen from a store brand. Without a doubt. Black pepper and lime, folks. Yeah. Woo! Drink this. Eat this with a Corona. That's good, man. Yeah. And, uh, I told my mom about these, and she was like, oh, well, now wait a minute. Why? Your mom likes stuff like that? She loves, like, lime. She loves lime salt. And I was like, I tell you what. So we're not to kill those. We're I gotta not to kill those. I gotta save a little bit for my mom. I know how you are. I know yeah. how that is. Yeah. So she was like, no, 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 that sounds legit to me. And I'm like, all right, well, I'll, I'll take care of you, man. What you know about science? That, that just made a loud noise on me. <laughs> I know. That's called science, I don't, player. Well, I don't like loud noises. <laughs> I know. It's, it's called air pressure. I know. Okay. Well, hey, how about it's that chip science. chat? Look at all that shit we did for chip chat. Boom, 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 boom. I boom. feel like, mm. um, I feel like just... I'm going to rape the world, reap the wind, wind, rape the world, reap the wind. What did I say? <laughs> what am I saying? Hey, what's the background? In inherit I the wind. I thought we were just riding, riding dead for a minute. Oh, right. But hey, it ain't no thing, man. I mean, because we're about ready to get out of this piece. Hey, we I mean, want to remind everybody, we got us a YouTube uh, uh, VC uh, contest going on uh -huh. right now. Yeah, you do. At YouTube.com slash Machete Miller. Tell them, brother. There's a contest video down down there submit your video your response to that and what's your what's it all about on, on a cliff what? note give me a cliff note cliff note version is what keeps your party moving when you feel your party going <whistles> what makes your party go <whistles> well and so uh so something with a slip whistle a slide yeah. whistle hip-hop funk 
Uh, some Jeru the Damager. Uh, some rock, James Brown. Whatever you want, man. Some Bon Jovi. Whatever it some is. Some Poison. Some In Excess. Whatever you want, man. Some Bieber. Something to your party up. Go enter our damn contest. Do it. You got uh, uh, June 13th. Yeah, man. Get your shit June together. June 13th. If you need more time, let us know. We'll extend it, but just, you got to let us know about it. And, and and I would like to thank all the people that like to tune in, both for the live broadcast over the inter- interwebs, which is a cool thing that we can do because we're America and we do cool things. Like Hell interwebs yeah. and Grown Man Record Night. What? And other countries can't do this. What? And i also like to thank the people that catch us on the flip side, the, on, the, on the YouTubes. Yeah. Which also is like internet. This is where truth business comes from. Yeah, it's like internet right all your, the way around. Right up your biscuit business, everybody. Hey, everybody. We appreciate you joining us for another great Friday night uh, live yeah. of entertainment. Check appreciate out some Mad Lib joint. Yeah, Pick gonna, it up. We're going to bust it. Uh, so uh, for, uh, for cameraman and the whole studio Stevie audience. Stevie Fever. Stevie Fever and the you boss know? man. Jesus. AKA Baby Supernova. Jesus. Supernova. Supernova. Let's not get into it. To be discussed. I'm Mikey Bananas. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you next time on Grown Man Record Night.